Hello my friend and welcome to a new solitaire video. Tonight we have the peacock deck and would you look at that niceness right there. I hope your day has been well. You're ready to relax, play some solitaire. This deck was actually requested by one of you tonight. I was looking through the comments and I noticed, hey, I actually do have that deck. And wow, this one is very nice so far. So all of you who wanted that, I hope you enjoy this one a little extra. Honestly, it would have taken me a while to get to this one. But as soon as I saw Peacock, I knew I had this deck hiding somewhere and just a very very good quality deck so far, so that's really cool. Thanks for recommending this one. I already love it. The different coloring, the holographic type effects, the box. I'm excited to get into it, but before we do, a little bit of a question. So when I saw it went through the comments, I was surprised it had some thumbs up. And I thought, you know what, let's do something that we haven't done in a while. So, I know not everyone knows decks of cards or the specifics, so I thought, why not try asking you what we should do for our next deck. So, I selected a, a little bit of a, a variety for us. So... Let me know which of these four you want next. The arena deck. Little cutesy. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that deck. The prisms deck. Or prismatic. Or the surprise holographic in blue. So those are your four options. Let me know which one you want to see. Now with that being said, let's continue our night. Or begin our night, I should say. Shuffle up our peacock deck. And I'm excited, just look at that. That is very, very lovely. And the quality is really good too. They're a little thicker, but also just as and provides the same dexterity as a thinner card. So, let's deal out our first game of the night. As we have a five to start. I'm already loving this deck. This honestly might be one of my new favorites. Thank you for recommending this, by the way. I have a little section of cards or decks I plan to get to in the future. And this peacock deck was lost inside of my different types of animal playing cards. So it would not have come up anytime soon. And I am glad it did just look at that. And it's more gold than yellow. Let's do this. As we already have a pretty good start to our night with building. Put down that three, and here we go. Sorry, I'm just enjoying looking at the cards at the moment. Give me a round or two. Get settled.
this deck, and unfortunately, I think it was one of those types of decks that sell out very quickly. And I guess you could see why. I was gonna put the link where I got it, but if it's not there, it means it's still sold out. But if you could find this thing, I would recommend grabbing it. I think it was probably around 15 to 20 dollars. But the quality you get back for the effort design in this is just worth every penny in my opinion. As what do we have here? We have lots of good. It's just so interesting. The gold reflectiveness on the cards. Like you see different shades with different lighting. Very, very cool. And the feel is just on another level. This texture here gives so much room for handling. It feels like every card's gonna last forever because it's oh, such a small difference in thickness. But sometimes the smallest differences are the ones that matter the most, as it looks like despite our good start, we cannot muster anymore, as there's nowhere for those double eights, nine, six, or five. That is the only building we can do, but I'm not upset. A very lovely deck, and we're gonna go straight into this rating right now with how awesome and lovely it is. But first, let's see which cards were left unturned. Double sevens, double kings. And double threes. That is just awesome. Sorry, I'm gonna be saying this a bit. Um, you know what? I'm gonna plan ahead for this one. So we will be doing another giveaway, obviously, just our, on our 600th video. If you'd like this to be part of the giveaway for the 600th video, let me know. So I can save up and maybe find one on eBay brand new. So it can be part of that. Because my goodness. This is awesome. Anyway, the deck reading. Amazing. Texture, much of the same. The visuals just speak for themselves. The box, I thought was going to be misrepresentative of the deck, but it is almost perfect of what the deck is going to be. The designs on the cards. They are traditional, but with a lot of nice touches, such as the bottom left and top right corners, the coloring variations, the gold, the reflectiveness on the face cards, the ace, all the aces I think, too. You know what? I think this deck is up there with our other best deck yet. The Peacock deck is now with the David Blaine deck. I think David Blaine got a nine and a half. And this one is a nine and a half, at least almost perfect. I don't know what can make it perfect, but it is just near perfection. Damn. This is one of those types of decks that get you excited for another deck. Because sometimes the decks are kind of lackluster, but this is the exact opposite. Seriously, thanks for the recommendation. It was a very good one. I'll try 
and shut up about that and get into a little bit of a story so I can distract myself. Alright, let's see. Yeah, very cool. Touches all around. Anyway, story. Alright, I got one. So, within this past week or so, I've met this new person at work, an older gentleman. And he was telling me how he's been going to the casino, or how he goes to the casino, I should say. And I was like, oh, so you, okay, cool. Nothing wrong with the going to the casino every once in a while, I guess. I'm not one to gamble or do anything like that, but I don't, just like anything, in moderation, anything is fine. Triple jacks on the field. And he was telling me how he always gets entered in raffles and giveaways and gets picked to win. Not intentionally, but he just has a higher chance. And I'm like, okay, whatever. It's easy to believe what you hear. Then he starts showing me some stuff of merchandise from the casino from the giveaways. And I was starting to think, okay, maybe you're not just blowing smoke right here. Up my butt. And he kept on talking, and he said he's a certain level, a tier member at the casino. To where? It's the highest tier possible at the casino. You have to spend Half a mil no, it's either half a million or a million dollars every 90 days or so, or every half year, one of those two. And when he told me that, I, I knew he wasn't messing around. And he told me the night before he had just won, I think, $26,000. And I was just saying to myself, okay, that sounds nice, but for you to win that much, you have to lose a lot. So I asked him, so how much do you think you've won overall, and how much do you think you've lost as we have our first fat stack of the night? To our left. Anyway. And he would just start laughing and saying, I've probably lost a bit more than I've won. And that kind of verified my thought there. But he said to me, you know, it's just fun going there, seeing the pretty lights and um, just kind of killing time. And I said, all right, that's, that's understandable, I guess. But I think the terms were Every nine, six months, you have to spend, like, either half a million or a million. I think it's a million. And when I thought about that, I realized it sounds like it's much more than it is. By no means is a million dollars or half a million dollars something that you say, oh, that's not a lot. But from what I know about the casinos, as there's nowhere for that five, ten, or four, no plays left on the field. So we move on to our next game. I am sh pretty sure. Yep. Okay. By the way, Triple Kings left on the field. Anyway, back to the casino. So when you play slot machines, for those of you unfamiliar, you spend, let's say, a dollar for a play. Let's say you bring $20 and you spend $20, you lose $20. That would count as triple sevens and double queens. Well, surprising. But you, you spend $20 and you lose it all. That counts as $20 played. But typically at the casino, if you start with $20, you'll lose 10. You'll win eight, lose 10 again. Win five, lose 10 again. 
So it's like this fluctuating pyramid or chart going down gradually. And it's very rare to win consistently. So with that initial $20, let's say you win five times, but you still end up losing the 20. You win a total of, let's say $45. So you technically played $65 on 20. Even then, that means of that half million or million he's spending at least like $150,000 at the casino. He's an older gentleman, so whatever floats your boat, I guess. But I, I cannot see myself doing that, especially on a slot machine. I think I could do pretty good at blackjack, just... Um, naturally, but I think, I don't know how it goes there, honestly. It'd be kind of weird just kind of accepting losing $20 a game or whatever it would be. I don't know. It's not my thing. I just know about it from people next to me or around me, I guess. Very interesting when you hear them talk about it. But he says he's been on the streak like for the past month or so of winning and for whatever reason he wins like anywhere from ten to thirty thousand dollars and a low win number would be about um I think like three thousand or so I still I just can't imagine risking that much just for the small chance of a payout triple fives by the way I thought it was interesting especially with all the numbers and stuff behind it I'm, but please don't go out and gamble if you ever think about it from hearing this just know you're probably gonna lose almost definitely especially if you make a habit of it um but anyway how many of you actually go out to the casino on that note? And what do you play? Triple fives again, I believe. Interesting. Stuff like that. I'd much rather live through others than live on my own. Show me a jack. Jack, don't show me a queen. Nine and ten. 
one, so double tens, double nines, eight in the check. Nothing to do. Fives on the field kept us at bay. And actually, I just noticed it. I felt a little bit of a feeling in the back of my head saying, check the field again, you idiot. But ultimately, the same results as there's nowhere for that eight, nine, ten, check.
it wasn't fun for me seeing people, you know, clearly in their older age, just kind of aimlessly tapping their machines. It felt kind of crummy. Anyway, that's it for the fun facts and stories of this video, I guess you could call those fun facts. As we now have triple jacks to conclude those fun facts. And with a very nice deck, we are having some unfavorable results so far. and vegetables.